So let's talk about a hypervisor and a cloud environment. So what are your common hypervisors that you may already see inside your environment? Well, the first one you may recognize is VMware, right? They have a hypervisor. The next one you may recognize is Hyper-V, right? That's a Microsoft product. Perhaps you recognize Citrix, which has Zen. And then, of course, you have the open source community that has KVM. All of these are what we call hypervisors. And what that essentially means is that the hypervisor itself works with the hardware, the physical hardware, to provide services. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this physical server and virtual server really means in our environments. So here if we have a big physical server, right? This is a physical server. Very similar to what you have today in your environments, perhaps it's a server, just like a desktop or a laptop. It's just bigger and they call it a server. All right? And what we have built into this environment are virtual machines. So we're going to go ahead and just draw out a couple virtual machines here. And there's three virtual machines. So these are called virtual machines. And we'll just put a V on them for VM. Remember, it's important to note here that the virtual machines are within the physical machine. So this is the entire virtual environment. And this is a hypervisor. Okay? So built right in there, this is the actual hypervisor itself. So let's get a little more detail here. So the thing to remember on this screen is physical servers, one physical server represented here, uh, right here, right? The big physical server. And then within that physical server, we have three virtual servers. And those three virtual servers are producing to and what we call a hypervisor. Okay? So that's a hypervisor in a virtual environment. So let's go ahead and continue with this story here about moving on from a hypervisor. So how does this, what does this mean when it's related to a cloud environment? So in a cloud environment, we have a physical machine. Remember, this guy's a physical machine, right? The big square there, and this guy over here, he's a physical machine as well. And then within this physical machine, right, we have the, the virtual machines, right? You see all of them. And then, of course, here connected, uh, we have some storage, right? So this is storage environment here. And so when it comes to a cloud, all of these guys are connected as actual machines or services, right? So when we think about cloud environments, we really think about what services. So let's say that one of those virtual machines is running an email server, and the other one may be running a file server, and then maybe the last one is running some sort of security server or security scan or something of that nature. The bottom line is that we have a physical server here, we have the virtual servers, and all of them produce, on, based on the hypervisor, right? We're producing a hypervisor produces these services that we see found within the cloud environment. So that's how that works. And then you have a physical server right here that's of the physical environment, right? So this doesn't have any hypervisor on it. This is a physical server with an operating system on it or what we call a NOS or network operating system. Now theoretically, he could support the cloud as well. Perhaps he has a database or something of that nature. But he can pro provide services up on a cloud. But typically in a cloud environment, you'll see that most of your users will be using virtual servers inside of a hypervisor to perform those services on the cloud.